Hi everyone and welcome to your video of an introduction to Java. In this video we're going to talk about creating comments, statements and methods in Java. The first thing you realize is that there are already some comments in the class that you make. And here I'm using the introductory class we made uh, when installing Eclipse. So we have a class called intro class and then there's comment here, and there's a comment here. This comment is multi-line comment, as you can see, it starts with a forward slash and an asterisk, and it ends with an asterisk and a forward slash. Then we have our, our multi, a single line comment here, two forward slashes at the beginning, and then the comment after that. And then we have our blocks. This is one block from here to here. This is the opening brace that matches this closing brace. And then we have from here to here, this is the opening brace that matches this closing brace. Closing braces, as you might realize, uh, face the left, and opening braces face the right. Because indeed it looks like these two braces are enclosing something, which is the code that is inside this, this method. You might notice a few things. Some of them I'm going to ask you to ignore for a second until uh, the next few lectures. These things I'm going to ask you to ignore, and I'm going to ask you to look at this. This main um, word is actually the method name. I'm not sure if you remember from the previous lecture uh, when we talked about how methods have names. And um, this is, in this case, the method's name. A method will have always two brackets, an opening and a closing bracket at the end of it. So that we have the method, the method name called main and the opening brace and then the closing brace here. What we have inside of this, I will ask you to ignore for now as well. So there's, there's only one real thing that I want you to look at right now, which is the method name and the opening and the closing bracket. And then it, the two curly braces have something inside it. So we can create something that looks quite similar to this. Um, we can do public um, static void just as the method above and then we can give it a different name like hello opening and closing brace opening and closing uh, curly brace so hello open and close bracket open and close curly bracket oh, we don't have to put anything inside it so there we have it we've created our first method and that's pretty much um, everything that is covered except the statements so, how do we create statements in Java? Well, we know that it has to end with a semicolon. So you can put the semicolon at the end of it and then type things on at the front. A very um, interesting thing to do for now is creating a variable. So we can create an integer variable. Int is the variable um, type. It's going to be an integer. We can call it x and give it the value 5. This is the simplest sort of statement you can create. So int stands for integer, which is a whole number, x is the name of our variable, equals 5. So we get 5 and we put it inside a box called x that can only hold whole numbers. And then we have the semicolon at the end. One other thing that I mentioned in the lecture is that variables you create inside a method cannot be used in a different method. So if here I say x is now equal 10, it will tell me that x cannot be resolved to a variable because it has been created in a different method. So this is what is interesting about this. If, on the other hand, I cut this and I paste it here, and then I can now say, well, I also have to call it static. We'll come into why this is a bit later. But I have static x equals 5, then it no longer gives me an error on trying to do x equals 10. So that's that, everything we've covered. How to create statements with a semicolon at the end, semicolon at the end, methods have a name, opening and closing bracket, and opening and closing curly brace, and you put statements inside these methods. The main method is just that. It's the main method of your program. It's where your program starts uh, when you're writing a Java program. Um, so you will need a main method in every program, 
but only one. When we're writing programs later on, you'll see how we'll only have one main method per program. When you run the Java program, it starts at the main method, and then when it gets to the end of the main method, your program ends. In this instance, we're not using this hello method, but we could. And in order to use a method, we simply write the method name, and then a semicolon at the end. And anything that's inside this method would get executed. In this case, we don't have anything inside it. But if we had, when we did this, our program would jump from this line onto the first line of this method, and it would start executing sequentially again. I appreciate there's a lot of things happening right now, but take three things from this. Statements end with a semicolon, methods have a name, opening and closing bracket, and the code for a method is between two curly braces. The main method is the method where your program starts, and each Java program will have one. And you cannot use variables you define in one method in a different method. In this instance, we're only changing the value of the variable, not defining a new variable. Okay, so hopefully you're not too confused. If you are, try to watch it again. Try to understand how a computer would think about this. Remember that a computer is not intelligent. If you tell it to create a variable called x, it will create a variable called x. Think about what could happen if the variable already exists. Would that be a problem or not? Try to play around with this IDE. See if you try to define a variable twice, like we've done here, we copy this and paste it below, what happens? Well, what happens is that duplicate field. So there you go. You can play around with Java. And in this uh, program called Eclipse, if you have an error, it will tell you. So this is an interesting approach to learning as well. OK, try to create more variables and more methods. and play around with it. In the next lecture, we'll have, well, in the next few lectures, we'll have more uh, information as to what sort of things we can do with Java. So stick around, and I'll see you in the next lecture.